welcome to 5.0 Aircraft Basics. Now, you do not have to use aircraft to win battles. And if you lose aircraft, you won't necessarily lose battles either. That being said, they are part of a game and they can be very effective uh, once you're comfortable with uh, how they function and the strengths and weaknesses of each particular aircraft in your deck. Uh, now, it'll take quite a number of uh, battles for you to get used to every single aircraft. And you're going to lose them all many times over before you figure out how to, how to effectively use them. Uh, that being said, let's just uh, start off with the basics. So, I'm calling it a fighter, and why am I calling this a fighter, or air superiority, or an interceptor? Is because it's got a payload of six air-to-air -air missiles, and they're fire and forget. That's what that, I can't bring my mouse down, but... Uh, if you see right under the missile, the AOE, F and F, F and F is fire and forget, area of effect, AOE, and radar, it's radar based. And then it also has uh, a Vulcan uh, cannon on it that it, it will engage other airplanes with and ground units, but I never want to call this thing in on the ground, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I've got a fighter here, and if you also, if you ever forget, let's just launch the battle. Uh, here we go, this is much better. If, if you've got a bunch of aircraft here, especially if you're starting out and you're playing packed and you've got all these MiGs and you go, oh, I forget which one is the, the fighter, well, you can look at these icons right up here, and that's an air superiority icon. For example, if I bring in... Oh, and how I did that, to pull up the info panel, select the unit, click down here, it shows me the info. Let's bring in what I know to be a bomber, and you can see the icon here where there's a bomb deploying here out of a out of an aircraft. You can also see that the payload is a bomb. And let's say I'm a total noob and I'm looking at this, I go, well, I don't know if it's a bomb or a missile. It's got range to ground, okay? Range to ground tells me that it's a bomb. We also know it's high explosive anti-tank and cluster. Okay. And we can see it does AP damage. That means it's armor-penetrating damage, right? Okay, so... And something else everyone's talking about is the Seed Missile or the Shrike. Uh, this is the anti-radar. It hones in on radar signals and attacks them from great distances. Oops, hold on here. Okay, so back to the basics, right? I've got aircraft... They're here in my air comp panel. I can open and close that. So there's different different ways to uh, bring them in. First of all, I've got this fighter. I can bring this in, and it, it behaves differently than a bomber. This fighter will auto-engage targets. So if it sees anything uh, in its range, it'll auto-engage. Now, its range here on this Tomcat is, is huge. It's about halfway across this map. Uh, about 12 kilometers. So it's just uh, it's just flying a, a sortie. I told it to, I believe I clicked right about here, and it, it'll fly circles around that area. Now there's also something you can do with aircraft and other units, is you can hold shift plus right click, and it'll fly to those waypoints. For example, I can go shift, right click, shift, right click, shift, right click, shift, right click, shift right click and it'll fly to those waypoints one then two then three then four okay we've got some enemy aircraft that we see now if it's heading their direction it will auto engage but I can also right click and it'll turn to engage those guys there you go one missile away two away and bula bula and now we're running out of gas, we're panicked, we're down to half health. The other guy's stunned. Let's just evac. Let's evac. Now this bomber, this bomber's uh, something different. I gotta bring this in 
and then actually tell it to fire on position. It won't auto engage its bombs. Oh boy, well, I lost my command unit there. Well, let's call that 4.0 aircraft basics. I'll make another one for bombers. And have a nice day.